using figurative uh, so that I can use uh, Figma on an iPad. So at the moment, this is figurative. It allows you to zoom in and out um, using hand gestures, and it's a little bit more uh, easy to use than Figma on like a native browser on an iPad. So here you can go through all your frames and then see what's going on in there. So that's cool. Uh, what I kind of want to use this for in the context of an iPad is actually use it for a whiteboarding exercise. So for example, if I'm going through this scenario here and I wanted to talk about some possible changes that we're doing here, I can just select to say that I'm using a pencil and here I can start annotating my designs with a pencil directly. If I made an error, then I can just use two fingers to tap to undo. So that's a nice kind of workflow. So let me go and kind of talk about how I would use this. So for example, if I wanted to talk about, you know, possible changes around here, and perhaps we wanted to talk about, you know, maybe missed that. Uh, moving this button maybe to the top. So this is kind of like, in a conversation, talking to someone about how we could use this and what they see on their screen. So, there, that's a lot better. And yeah, this is how you could use something like this to take a look at that. Uh, you can say I wanted to remove that. I can also click on delete. Um, there's shortcuts here. So if you're selecting the frame and you want to like copy and paste, but there's no control C, control V or command um, C, command V. Um, yeah, like how do you do that? Because if you go file, edit, it's like copy as, that's not the copy you want. So uh, what you need to do is go to uh, keyboard shortcuts, customize your shortcuts and add copy and paste into this, change the order of it. So, and once that's in place, um, let's say I have this frame copied, I can copy and go over to here and then just paste it. And that's how you can have a touch experience using Figma and using kind of like a pencil to start doing some whiteboarding exercise.